Good evening and a very happy Diwali. Uh, today is the pen penultimate day of the tournament and the four surviving teams are India, West Indies, England and Pakistan. There appears to be a bit of a delay in the start of the match at Nagpur between England and Pakistan. So let us concentrate on the match in Bombay between India and West Indies and see what the prospects are. India, of course, a little lucky that they were already through to the semi-finals before their rather pathetic defeat at the hands of uh, Pakistan at Calcutta two days ago. Uh, the thing that worries the Indian supporter is not the fact that India lost, but the manner in which they lost it. The uh, middle order batsman simply caved in after a rather splendid start by Lamba and Srikanth. And it is this uh, surrender, this rather abject and uh, comprehensive surrender, which was as unnecessary and inexplicable as it was abject. This is what should be worrying Srikanth. And uh, if the middle order madness, if I may call it that, continues in this match, I, would be, uh, I wouldn't be surprised at all if India failed to play out the 50 overs that the West Indies are supposed to bowl to them. The West Indies, on the other hand, have risen like the Phoenix from the ashes of the first two defeats in the tournament, and they're very confident and a very, very good side indeed at the moment. They have an excellent bowling side, a brilliant batting side, and the fielding can rise to tremendous heights. So it's a, it's a match where West Indies will want to get to the final, and India will, will have a battle on their hands. India have won the toss and have decided to bat. Let us go and join them at Wankade Stadium. Ambrose to Srikant. Back foot for drive. Two third men marshal the fielder. One without loss, Eight. India. Lamba plays him to mid wicket. Simmons, and that could be run out, yes. Srikant, complete misunderstanding between the two. What a start for India. Srikant just didn't think in terms of returning. Where did, uh, Lama? Let's have a look at that. Charging down the wicket. No response from Lamba. Srikant not making any attempt to regain his crease, nor Lamba making any attempt to go to the bowler's end. Most peculiar run out. down to third man. Marshall. And that should be for yes. The fielder there is very square at third man. Getting it past square cover. Ambrose will not cut it. Lamba's second boundary. Neatly turn of his hips. Beautiful. A typical one day stroke. And four runs. Ramanath's tending to lean a little more heavily on his back than he used to do earlier in his career. Hunching over his back almost. Finest of fine glances, and there is a backup there. Benjamin and just a single. So 50 to India. Walsh now to Lamba. Lamba drives into the air. And he's gone. Caught by Richardson, a fairly simple catch. So India 50 for two now. Lamba gone for 29. Watch that again. I think the ball came up much more than Lamba expected. Virtually hit it on the splice of the blade and Lamba putting up a very simple catch. Lamba was undaunted by Srikant's dismissal, played some fine shots, ending rather tamely. But that's a fine shot, but straight to the fielder. Yes, there's a sweeper cover there, Logi. Oh, bowled him! Bowled him! What a lovely ball! The ball cut back into Amarnath from outside the off stamp and just clipped the bells through the gate.
single. Walker a long way from outside the Ostam wide and that's four wides. Walsh bowling an inspired spell. Bengtsaka drives straight to Richards. Or taking the edge and Richards bringing off a fine catch. So India is really in big trouble. Flicked off his pads and that should be four. Nicely placed for the Place. single. Bahut hi Point. Richards now to Kapil and Kapil swings that away. Two mid wicket, four runs. 86 for four, India. Loose ball down the leg side. Oh, that's a great shot. Pivoting on his right leg and punishing it down between square leg and mid wicket. Azar and Kapil Dev trying to get on top of the bowling, trying to disperse some of the pressure on the Indian batsman. Logi, the fielder. Full toss and Kapil Dev. Involuntary struck there by Ambrose. Ambrose dropped back into the attack. Walsh having finished his 10 overs. And Richards with relentless pressure on Indian batting. Trying to maintain that. Very lucky. He's gone. Declared LBW. Ambrose striking for West Indies immediately on being reintroduced into the attack. Quite clearly in front of the stumps. Simmons now bowling the middle overs. Beautiful cut by Azar. Very graceful player Azaruddin when he's in full flow. Ajay Sharma trying to collect a useful score. But will that be good enough for India? Rarest of rare cases, a misfield from the West Indies, but they were through for a single. Sharma swings him away. That's a fine shot. Six runs. Cleanly struck. Sharma has very few edges about him once he gets going. He's on 12, 128 for 5 India. Well, that's fine on drive. Should fetch him just the single. Benjamin now. And bowled him! Sharma playing all over that Yorker. Beaten by the pace also, I think. And 131 for 6. Sharma gone for 15. Watch that again. He's trying to drive the Yorker, playing over it. In fact, perfect Yorker from Benjamin. Breaking the off stump into two. That's a fine square cut and he's gone. Richards bringing off a catch that was very powerfully struck but straight to Richards and Prabhakar gone 142 for 7 India and hurtling towards a very very poor turtle. Watch that again that was short and fairly wide outside the off stump. Prabhakar meat of the bat but straight to Richards a hard hit. Get hold of it. Azar gets 
One goes in for the second. He'll have to hurry. Completes the second. And 150 in there. A total that looked unlikely at one stage. Making room, driving, but straight to Hens. Oh, Azar gone. Azar was playing well. Out for 38 and 151 for 8 India. Watch that again. Simmons taking on the role that Richards normally plays. Azar making room on the onside, but straight to Hens. That's a fine shot by Chetan Sharma. An authentic cover drive. Four runs. Cleanly stroked. Benjamin again. Bounces and oh, that's a poor shot. Straight in the air and Richards will have no problem. Richards completing the catch. And it's all over virtually bar the shouting. 159 for 9. And the temptation of getting a run, I think, getting the better of Chetan Sharma there, could well have left it alone, as he intended initially. Richards bringing off a very simple catch. Single to Moray, Atherton. That's into the air. Ayub puts it in the air and Marshall bringing off a simple catch. Very comfortably caught and India now all out for 165. Ayub scooping it up, wanting to play him on the onside. Hands facing couple. The Parker. Surprisingly, Simmons putting his helmet back on again. Good placing, four runs, easy four, and 11 to West Indies. Kapil Dev now to Hens. Driven upishly, Kapil makes a desperate lunge for it. Dive. Just outside his reach, looking to be a great catch at its stuck. Not more than an inch above the ground. Hens gets three. And loud appeal, he's gone. LBW. Simmons trying to turn Kapil Dev. On the full, on the onside, misses, is wrapped right in front. That's an important wicket for India. Watch Kapil there again. Bowling a ball of a fuller length. And Simmons trying to hit him across the line. That's a nice shot from Haynes. Well timed, four runs. Bit of square Amanath the fielder. Oh, leaning back, and that's a fine shot from Richardson. Making room for himself, nobody can possibly stop that. 16.3 overs down. West Indies 54 for the loss of Simmons' wicket. Shot outside the off stump and hit with perfect timing, square cutting it for four outs. Again, yeah, leaning back, back making boom. Fine shot from Richardson again. He's been in such good form right through the series. Chetan Sharma. Srikant turning to his irregular bowlers. The Azar, a full toss, and Richardson can't let go there. Opportunity to score.
Single to Richardson and that's West Indies 100 for one, chasing India's moderate 165. Well on their way to the final now. Ayub to Haynes. Nice on drive to mid wicket, four runs. Haynes a pronounced two wide stance. Completing his 50. Oh, that swung away. The ball coming off the turf very slowly. Haynes having all the time in the world. No, Richardson was well home. A flutter for the crowd, but uh, no damage done to the West Indians. Haynes it. Chetan Sharma, India certainly had played in every department of the game. Back foot and Hasud Ayub. Deep extra cover. Just the single. He's out. Just gets out. On the right pad, T climb in front of the driving straight, and Kapil has got him very quickly. Moved to his right and flings the ball at the wickets, but misses the stumps. And Tudon just getting home. This time, square finding the gap, an easy two. Arshad Ayub doing the fielding and two John goes on to six. Arshad. Arshad Ayub now to Richardson. That's nicely played off his legs. Prabhakar, the fielder. Just the single. There's a great deal of anticipation before this match commenced and that's beautifully driven. Tujo, a very elegant striker off the board. Shrikan now to him. And Dujon has all the time in the world. The ball coming off the wicket very slowly. West Indies now equalizing with India and Raman Lamba, just the token formalities. A no ball to boot and West Indies are home and through to the final. So Lamba performing the obsequial ceremonies. If I have to pick up the West Indians, they're all the bowlers, Ambrose, Marshall, Walsh, who performed exceptionally well. And so did Richardson and Haynes. But I think for a team which was supposed to be going out of the competition of the first two matches, to lift them to this height, although he needs a little bit of practice in ground fielding, he took three catches. My man of the match is Viv Richards.